by taking Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC just to prime my eyelids and also cancel out any kind of darkness on the eyelid. Today I'm going to be using the Too Faced collaboration with the beautiful Nikki Tutorials, the Power of Makeup palette. I went to dinner with her and a bunch of us celebrated and thank you Nikki for having me. It was so, so much fun and the palette is gorgeous. So today is going to be like a little sneak peek of the palette. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Ah! It is so beautiful. In the palette, you get nine eyeshadows, two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlight. Then it also comes with like a little mini package that has an eyeshadow primer, a glitter, and a little eyeliner and mascara. It also comes with this little booklet, and it has different looks that Nikki has created with the palette. Like, look at how fabulous she looks. I've already played with the palette a couple times, and so far I'm loving it. I haven't used all of the shades. I haven't swatched all of the shades, but the ones that I have used so far are so pigmented and so creamy, very true to the Too Faced formula. Also, the names of the colors are adorable. The little white, white one right here is called Ivy after her dog. I was like dying. I'm gonna start with this color right here called Painkiller. It's a matte taupe color. I'm gonna use this as my transition shade. Next, I'm going to take Makeup and Chill, which is a matte chocolate brown. I'm just starting on the outer edge to place the most product and then working it inwards. I want to keep this crease color a little bit higher than I usually do because I'm wanting a little bit more lid space because I'm doing an all over lid color plus I'm doing eyeliner. Next, I'm going to take the black color called Wanted. I'm just going to take a little bit at a time. I haven't used the black yet, so I don't know how pigmented it is, but I want to focus that color on the outer part of the eye and then kind of bring it in a little bit. Black can be quite messy to work with, so I would always rather start with a little bit and then build it up. I'm going to take a pencil brush to place the black exactly where I want it. Then I'll blend it out with the crease brush. Now I'm going to take the emerald shade in the palette called Mystic Hour and I'm going to apply this all over the lid. It looks a lot more blue when I put it on the lid where in the pan it looks more green. I'm going to take the gold color called Irresistible and apply that right on top. I feel like the gold color is a little bit powdery, but the blue shade looks very pigmented. I'm going to take some makeup remover just to clean up the edges. Now I'm going to wing out my eyeliner. I'm going to use the NYC Liquid Liner. I know I made that look really easy, maybe, probably, but I'm having a good eyeliner day. Now I'm going to add mascara and lashes. I'm going to use this little mascara from Make Cosmetics. It's called the Superhero Mascara. It's a little travel size, but I've really been liking it lately. For my lashes, I'm going to use the Blinking Beauté Samantha Lash. You want to make sure you let your lash glue dry before you apply the lashes on. You don't want to put the glue and then apply it. The glue has to get tacky. I let mine dry for like 30 seconds. I use the House of Lashes glue, it's my favorite. Um, but you gotta let it get tacky. Cause I feel like that was my mistake when I first started using lashes. I didn't know you're supposed to let the glue dry and I'd put it on and I'm like, why is it not sticking? The tackier the glue, the easier it is to apply it on the lash band. I 
For my primer, I'm gonna use the Smashbox Primer Water. I haven't used this in a hot minute, but it's one of my favorite primers. For my foundation today, I'm gonna use the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I've only tried this one time. I'm gonna use the shade 205 Natural Beige. It's supposed to be a glowing foundation, and I'm oily, so usually if I have a glow, I have to use a mattifying primer. I'm gonna use this little brush thingy right here. I've also used this one time. It's by a brand called Ava, A-Y-B-A, and it's gorgeous, and I really like how it applied this foundation. It made it look really natural, so that's what I'm going to do today. Just wanna shake it up first. Shake it up, girl, and then apply it on the skin. This brush feels so soft. Now I'm gonna conceal and highlight my under eye area. I'm gonna first take the Smashbox color correcting pencil in the shade light right in the corner of my eyes. It's a peach corrector, so it cancels out any darkness. And then you can blend this out first, but I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my concealer right on top. I'm gonna use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm just gonna go underneath of my eyes in a triangle on my nose, right here and right here. I'm gonna blend it out using my damp beauty blender. Now I'm gonna set my concealer with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Still using my Beauty Blender. What did we do before baking? I feel like a lot of times when I just set my concealer with a powder and a brush, it just doesn't last as long and it doesn't look as good. Like baking with this powder is the only technique that has worked for me to make my concealer not crease, 100%. While that bakes, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. Now I'm gonna dust off all of that excess powder. Now I'm gonna finish off the eyes. I'm gonna take this Anastasia liner. This is the Liquid Gold Metallic Luster Liner, but I feel like it's not really a gold. It's more of like a pewter silver color. I feel like this is perfect for summer with the blue. I'm gonna bring it down on the lower lash line because it's not showing up the way I want it to in the waterline. I'm gonna take some of the Chocolate Soleil bronzer right underneath of that eyeliner. I'm gonna focus it mainly on the outer part of the lash line. I'm gonna add some of the darker brown in the palette as well. When you focus the lower lash line color on just the outer part of the eye, it just makes the eyes look a little bit bigger, a little bit more like doe-eyed. Then I'm gonna go over the eyeliner a little bit on the inner corner. Now that I'm done with the lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with some mascara just to coat the bottom lashes. Now I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier Cream Contour Kit. This is my favorite cream contour kit. I'm gonna mix the two and three shade. This is the three and this is the two. And I'm gonna take my favorite cream contour brush and this is the Morphe E48. I'm gonna take the Morphe E45. It's just a smaller brush and I'm gonna contour my nose using the medium three shade. 
I'm gonna take the peach blush in the palette called I Will Always Love You and apply that as my blush. Because in the pan it looks matte, but I feel like on it gives like a little bit of something something. For my glow today, I'm gonna use the newest Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in the shade Sun Dipped. This has been my obsession. You guys, it is so beautiful. Mine is very well loved. I like to mix the two bronzy shades and put it like right over my blush. It just adds a little bit of a sun-kissed glow. Then for my highlight, I'm gonna mix the lightest two colors in the palette and I'm gonna use my Anastasia highlight brush. Like one application. Do you guys, can you see this? Like prepare to be blinded. This highlight palette is the truth. So if you're a little bit lighter skin, you can still use this palette. I feel like when I was looking at the images online of the palette before it launched, I was like, oh, maybe it'll be too dark. But I'm usually a light medium in foundation. Woo, like girl. I'm gonna go a little bit above the brows. Add like that full spectrum glow, like all around cupping the eye. And then I'm gonna take my powder brush just to Blend that I'm also gonna go on the top of the lip. I'm gonna take the glitterly glitter that comes with the palette and it's a beautiful silver like confetti. I'm gonna put it right on the inner corners of the eyes. I can't find my glitter glue, so I'm going to use some lash adhesive. You just wanna make sure you let it dry a little bit before you apply it. I'm gonna go ahead and fix my hair and everything, and then we'll finish with the lip color. So I'm gonna take the ColourPop lip pencil in the shade O Snap just to line my lips, and then I'm gonna use the Jouer lip cream in the shade Dolce de Leche. Then I'm gonna top it off with MAC Oyster Girl Lip Glass. So here is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoy and you're having an amazing summer. I love you and I'll see you in my next video.